Excellent shiny finger, you're a module lab member. About four days ago I bought a new phone, but now that I've tried it I think I should have stayed with the old one. So I want to use a email to tell myself not to buy a new phone. If we do that, the phone I'm holding will cr well, currently will change, won't it? Hmm, this should make it easy to tell whether the past has changed. Was it a three useless lab members? I have no objections to the market's superior idea. But look at Marcus phone. It's powerful and gaudy. There's no strap, and it's not like the deco phones popular among mainstream women nowadays. Oh, so that the same gets did a bacano, GG zero each jump. So I think should I oh, that's a show of women that's a good at the ski day. You don't know about you, so not that's meant to air a better than you. You must see now, so the doco eat them on you come at the kiddo. It's the most popular model, but she wants her old one back. I guess hardcore phone users have other concerns besides fashion. Have you ever seen this woman text stupidly fast? Marcus shakes her head expressionlessly. Damn it! You're just an assistant. Don't boss us around. Brown, the engineer, what do you do? ふぅ、ははははは、ミスターブラウンごとき恐れるな。奴がどなり込んできたら、この俺が蹴散らしてやる。マジで、オカリンかっけ。そこに痺れる憧れる。実は口だけだったりするんでしょ。うん。I'll be the adult and ignore Trish's insult. Mark has already written her statistics by mail. When I look at Mark to see if she's ready, she nods faintly. We set the timer to 100 seconds. The demo she arrived at Marcus Ford four days ago, July 31st. About 15 seconds after activation, the discharge phenomenon occurs. I glanced at Mark. She nods grimly in unusual show of emotion. And then she pressed the button.
The world twists into unrecognizable shapes. The floor is shaking, or is it me? My vision blurs and loses color. Look! The world lurches. I struggle to keep my balance. As I brace myself against further shaking, I try to analyze what I'm experiencing. This is far more intense than what happened when we sent the emails yesterday. And yet, I felt it before. I remember. This is what I felt right before the mass disappearance phenomenon. The shaking stops. I relax my body and look around. Has the past changed? Oh, of course it has. That bizarre sensation just now was the proof. I look around the room. The phone wave name sort of change, which should have about 90 seconds left on the timer, is silent. Daru's here, Mayu's here, Krisu's here. Where's Moaka? Daru and Krisu, who are discussing something in front of the X68000, look at me strangely. Ah, again. This feeling of wrongness. It's the same as yesterday. I leave the, the development room and check the lunch. Find the sofa in the dressing room, the bathroom, and the shower room. I look out the, the window at the street below. But more cousin were to be found. She's gone. No way. This is exactly what happened on the streets of Akiba. Why did she disappear? Because I experimented on her? Where did she go? Did I erase her from history? Did I banish her into the space between dimensions? I start quivering in horror at the magnitude of my error. In a daze, I step up to Mayuri, who's eating a banana. I grab her shoulders and shake her. Daru and Krisu give me strange looks as well. So I did erase Moka's existence. No, that can't be. I would accept that I killed her. Yes, that's the name I gave this phenomenon, or rather, to my ability to perceive it. When the world light changes, everyone's memories are reconstructed to match, that's what John Titor said. But somehow, I atone, I alone retain my memories even after the past changes. I named this power Reading Steiner, Chris remembered. Still, the if I just made it up out of thin air. But now that Morka has disappeared, I want to believe that this power is real. It's only the memories of Morka that disappeared, not Morka herself. I need to contact Morka. I need to make sure I didn't erase her very existence. Hmm. But I don't know her phone number. The only way to contact her is by email. I sent her a message saying that reply the second you read this email. Now all I can do is wait for her to reply. Please reply. In fact, I'm anything but fine. I'm frighteningly desperate. I'm fighting desperately to deny the possibility that I might have erased more of from existence. ただし、昨日と少し状況が違う。D And then she vanished into thin air. Which reminds me, when I sent a lot of six mail yesterday, Daru teleported from the development room to the lounge. Morka might not have disappeared. She probably just teleported somewhere. I hope that's it. 
in an attempt to calm myself down and check my phone's history for the mail's more can I exchange. That's strange. The mail she sent me are there, up until the one I received on July 31st at 1243. But after that, dozens of mails I remember receiving from her and gone. The email she sent to cancel the full model exchange was set to arrive on July 31st. Did the time paradox erase Morka from existence the instant she received the email? I shiver when I realise that I can't find any problems with that hypothesis. No way. It can't be. I mean, all her email said was don't change the phone models. That's harmless, right? But then, what caused Morka to disappear from this room like that? What does it look like Morka vanished four days ago? Christina. もしかにディメルによってタイムパラドックスが発生したらどうなると思う某映画みたいにパラドックスに対する歴史の修正が入るかもしれない Like in a certain movie, where to get around the copyright protection for that one? Dr. Hawkingは時間順序保護仮説でタイムパラドックスが起きる可能性の行為はそもそも実行不可能だとしてるし Dr. Hawking? Alright So we have the thieves <laughs> I'm amazed that Maidi and Daru can have such a carefree conversation despite all this happened. They don't realize the gravity of the situation. We might have erased someone's very existence. In fact, if Moaka has vanished, then that means four more names have changed. It's also responsible for the mass disappearance phenomenon I witnessed in Akihabara. What if I erased all those people? I don't want to consider such a frightening possibility, so I desperately shake the thought out of my head. Huh? Ah! What's wrong? I'm kind of busy right now. Sorry, I'll email you later. She's alive. <laughs> My body goes limp from relief. A reply, she sent a reply. Walker still exists. She didn't disappear. Relief washes away my fear. My eyes fill with tears, not because I was worried for Marker, but because I thought I might be responsible. Because I thought I might be responsible for the horror of erasing someone's existence, and I really need to stop recording these after work. Makes me really sleepy. Urged by Chris, who explained everything that just happened. Hmm. 詳しい経緯はわからないけど過去を改変したことで今回の場合は7月31日以降今日までの4日間のキリュウさんの行動が微妙に変化したその結果今この時間にはキリュウさんはラボには来なかったというふうに再構成されたそれは私が言ったことです I'm reminded of the teleporting gel banana, or sorry, gel banana, but I guess it's not the same thing. Walker well, didn't become a jelly man after all. So なんとも言えない。D-mail を送った事実も抹消されてしまうなら、そのD-mail は誰が送ったのかっていうパラドックスになるし、それともう一つ、岡部に起きていることが消せない。何？リーディングシュタイナーのこと。ちなみにその造語
恥ずかしいからやめた方がいい<笑>お前の個人的見解は必要ない I'm finally able to joke with Crucio again Well, maybe she wasn't joking But that's none of her business さっきのあんたの説明じゃ D メールを送ったのも受け取ったのもあんたじゃなかったなのにあんただけが世界線が変わる前のことを覚えているでもこれってあんたのただの妄想じゃない脳内嫁ですねわかりますわかるなお前のような変態紳士と一緒にされたくはないキリュウさんって人はもともと存在しなかったあるいはキリュウなんとかさんは実在するけどその人が D メールを送った事実は妄想だったうわ<笑> I fall to my knees and press my hand against my left eye. <laughs> Mary peeks anxiously at my face, but I lightly push her aside. <laughs> しかしそれは同時にモロハの剣でもある俺はこのあらゆる世界とあらゆる時間を見通す魔眼のせいで人間としての因果率から外れてしまっただがそれでもこのラボだけは守ると誓ったのだだから魔がんよ静まってくれ I kneel and press my head against the floor and then I take a deep breath and gradually remove my head from my left eye My dear does my back いやもう大丈夫だ I stand up, then I shoot, shoot Chris through a sharp glare. What? What? Now, it's just a game. Chris, Dino. You are wrong. You have already been able to prove this. I am. 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 In any case, I've successfully deflected Chris's questions about the reading Steiner. I don't feel able to answer right now. My emotions are jumbled, just as they were after Taito called me the Messiah. Is this power real? If it is, then what does that make me? An unknown power sleeps within me. The very thoughts and the shilt on my spine. I sit on the bench in front of the Baranji workshop, staring into the night sky. I try sorting out what happened this afternoon, but it's impossible. The more I think about it, the more confused I get. And then I hear footsteps coming down from the second floor. Soon my eating creature will march. Kaeru no ka? Yes. Okabe is always here. Well, no. 
マッドサイエンティストたるもの研究所に寝泊まりして研究だけに没頭するぐらいでなければ務まらない形から入るのってよくないと思うわけだがでもねこの場所ってとっても便利だよねマユシーもお父さんお母さんが許してくれるならここに泊まりたいよえっきそしたらバイトに行くのもすぐだもんねえねえクリスちゃん今度みんなでお泊まり会しよう男性陣がいないのならオッケーはいそれは無理だだったらまゆりさん私のホテルに来たらああそういえばそんな約束してたもんね<笑>じゃあ今度お邪魔するねいつでも行ってくれていいからそれじゃあ Trissy waves goodbye and starts walking in the opposite direction from a k i a b r a station. Mayuri doesn't move from that spot. Instead, she starts doing her usual thing. Stardust handshake! She looks up to the night sky, raising her hand as if to grasp the very stars. And with perfect timing, a shooting star crosses the sky.